Oh. Double checking levels. That is the wrong thing. Where's my thing? There's the thing. All right. Everything seems to be fine. I mean, it is. I'm, this is being put up, so if anything bad happened, it was on a previous uh, attempt at recording this, but I won't know that. I don't know that right now. Talking about the past in the future, that's my future. It hasn't happened yet. I need a drink. What a dumb intro. All of this just to say hi. It's uh, Monday. And we continue our look at all the states here in the United States. We are, once again, <clears throat> starting a new letter. And for those unfamiliar with the English alphabet, the letter that comes after M is N. So the first state that starts with an N is... Nebraska. Let it sink in. I think this is a pretty good um, representation of the state. If you were to actually go into Wikipedia yourself and look at the uh, population distribution of the state, you'd very much say, holy fuck, everyone lives in basically two places. But I'm getting a little ahead of myself. Let us continue introducing this state so all these signs here are they just the turn ones yeah <clears throat> so let's do the uh generalizations of the uh, state here as we try to find at least a road market that says the uh road run excuse me this is in fact the state of nebraska it is nickname is the corn husker state now if you're unaware what a corn husker is it's essentially a person that takes an ear of corn off a corn stalk and uh, husks it. Or, in other words, takes the uh, leaves and silk and whatnot off of it, husking it. Very um, uh, indicative of what this state kind of like uh, pins itself upon. We've got historical marker. You'll see. This is very much everything that's on there, root signs as well. It's a, a covered wagon with some oxen on it. And if they're not talking about corn, the other thing they're talking about is how this was a, uh, I guess you could say staging point, but kind of like a, uh, <clears throat> well, let's see if I can actually make this out. Like, I guess you could say starting point, or at least a midway point for people to go settle the, uh, the West, or, you know, uh, homesteader stuff, other things like that. Fort Laramie, Fort Robinson Trail. Let me take a drink. Now, I remember, uh, I do not think Fort Laramie exists anymore. The problem is, I don't know if I'm going to find exactly where this is. I don't think this is a highway. I think this is a route. I'm going to say it's Route 34, just to say something, unless I actually see a... Uh, sign somewhere here anyway <clears throat> let us continue the capital of uh this great state is uh lincoln which is right there as you can see you got nebraska here uh bordered by south dakota wyoming colorado kansas missouri and iowa apparently is the only triple landlocked state which basically means you have to go through three different states to actually get to a uh, ocean which, weird. I mean, it's smack dab in the center of the country, so I guess you can say that. Uh, there's not much it really has to, uh, like, hold its hand upon or stand upon as, like, a sense of pride to be like, this is what our state's known for. Corn, um, travel, and some other things, too. I'll get to those as we uh, continue on the uh, discussion of the state. What else we got here? Lincoln's the capital. Largest city is uh, Omaha, which is right here on the uh, good old Missouri River. The highest elevation is 26,000 feet. No, elevation of the state is 26,000. The highest point is actually 5,424 feet, which 
is significantly higher than I uh, expected. Its uh, the lowest elevation is 840 feet. It's the 37th most populous state in the country. 37. We were on the exact opposite side of the country. How about that? We're going to get shitty scores here because I have a feeling a lot of that this state is going to end up being... Oh, shit, we're in a town. Let's see, what do we got here? Woodsboro Realty. Nope, nothing there. Um, let's see, medium household income is $59,000, which is 22nd rank in the country. It's, uh... Uh, anything else here? The history of it. Well, if you remember any of the other history lessons for any other Midwest and arguably every other goddamn state in the country, <clears throat> um, originally was uh, Native American. Then uh, traders came. Usually it was the French, English, or Spanish. In this case, it's kind of the French and the Spanish kind of had most... Uh, Lee waste the wrong word, but most interaction, I guess you could say. And it led to a uh, war between the two countries, and um, France won. Then eventually France fucked off, English took over, and then the U.S. took it over. When did it actually become a state? I don't even think I actually said that. Uh, March 1st, 1867, 37th state in the Union. And uh, then the U.S. took it, Louisiana purchased stuff, you could say, eh, yeah, a little bit of it was probably included in that. Then the Native Americans were there, and then the U.S. were like, all right, Native Americans, you can go live there on your reservations. Then gold, Homestead Act, uh, Manifest Destiny type stuff. More settlers came in, more Native Americans were pushed off, fought back. Wars, lost. The uh, United States won, and we're basically here now. Calvert Elementary School. I don't know where this is, and I'm hoping to get... Hmm. I feel like I should turn around to go back on that road I was just on, but I'm going to keep going forward here and hopefully maybe find a bit more information on signs like this, but I'm not seeing it. Um, it's mainly a uh, agricultural state doing a lot of corn, soybean, beef, pigs. It's a huge agricultural location with, uh, I mean, some cities have some developments here and there, but really it's, it's farm that kind of like runs the deal out here. <clears throat> Lincoln. We're, we're Lincoln's children do. That's what that says. So we've got the... I'm just going to click Children's Zoo's temporary clothes. I'm going to say it's over here. I mean, granted, it can be really anywhere within the state, but I will just... I see Children's Zoo. We're going with that. Oh, excuse me. It's uh, a state I've never been to. <clears throat> surprise, surprise. I've probably flown over it at some point. But it's a very flat state. I mean, other than that 5,000, well, almost 5,500 foot tall mountain, which very much surprised me. There, there, there ain't much in the way of, uh, like, undulating or changing scenery here. Let me actually look. I want to see where this... Oh, well, this would explain why it's the tallest place. Let me show you where... Uh, Panorama Point actually is. <clears throat> Sorry, I'm clearing my throat a lot. I'm not really... Ex um, I guess prepared, you could say. But yeah, look where it is. As about as close... If you were going to pin a point knowing where the Rocky Mountains are, that's as close as you're going to get. The rest is just nothing like that. All right, wasn't that far off. Bring our grand total of the last two rounds <laughs> to this. Um... Yeah, if you do any sort of uh, like word association with somebody in the U.S. and they're like, "Hey, what do you what what do you think of with Nebraska?" They'll say corn. That's essentially all anybody will say. Just because it's in the Midwest, Midwest is where all the agriculture is done. Letter removal 
Okay, that doesn't tell me. <clears throat> um, I mean, doing a quick look at the rest of the stuff here. It's really all of that as well. No, nope, not much. Wait, was that a speed limit sign? Uh, no, it's just saying uh, pass with care. I mean, if I try to list off any of the famous people from Nebraska, you've got, uh, I don't know if many people know who Warren Buffett is. But apparently, let me, let me actually go get down what Wikipedia says about him. i got to pause again to clear my throat. Sorry. Where are we? Where are we? I just had it here. Oh, here we go. Uh, he was ranked in March 2009 of Forbes magazine as the second richest person in the world. He uh, heads something called Berkshire Hathaway, which is a holding company, which someone who has really no knowledge or idea what that means is they just own things and they make money by owning them. Uh, apparently a net worth of $88.9 billion. That's a billion dollars. It's a lot of money. Uh, if you know what Kool-Aid is, Kool-Aid was created in 18, uh, 1927 by Edwin Perkins in the city of Hastings. I gotta find out where the fuck we are. I'm getting a little sidetracked because I this is just going to be another unfinding location here in the state because they don't seem to like to uh, demarcate their roads much. I mean, nope, doesn't even say that. So if I get to rank this state on highway signage alone, this is like a zero. I mean, until I see an actual sign that says what well, route I'm on, it's going to be a zero. If I see a sign, then then it's one. I don't think this is going to count because we're probably not going to. Yeah. Got a minute left. Seeing nothing. Anyway, Kool-Aid was invented here. Cliff notes apparently were developed here. Oh, anyway, if you don't know what Kool-Aid is, it's basically sugar powder added to water, stirred around and shit. Ooh, we actually have signage. Conjunction of Route 23. Actually, this sign up here is going to help me with the 50 seconds I have left. Boulder is in Gothenburg. None of that helps me. <laughs> Alright, so now we're actually going to go up and look at this sign here. So you can actually see what the routes look like here. Because Nebraska, there's the covered wagon thing again there. 23 and 47. I'm just going to zoom in just a smidge. 23, 47. 47. We're going to click here. 23 and 47. All right, so that's the intersection there. I'm going to say we're here. And where was Gothenburg? I don't see it. Okay, we're going to back up. Actually, I got three seconds left. I think I got pretty close. Yeah, it wasn't that far. It was Farnham, which actually, here in my state, I mean, I haven't had their beer in a while, makes a very good Hefeweizen. Apparently, when I started going, I could have turned around and gone into the uh, town instead of what I did. Um... I'm okay with that. Play next round. Uh, let's see. Cliff Notes. Never used them myself. It was kind of just like this ethos I have about schoolwork and not letting to cheat. And I felt Cliff Notes were cheating. But it's basically an abridged version of, say you got to read <clears throat> um, Of Mice and Men or something. Or any book in general. Just some book that you had to read in school that you hated having to read, but you had to. The uh, Cliff Notes was basically probably a tenth of the size, and it just gave you all of, here's the plot, here's the summary, here's the characters, their development, here's how each chapter goes out. It's just a summary, and Cliff Notes is kind of just like a, uh, uh, I forget what the word is. It's something that's used a lot in common vernacular. If like you want a summary of something, and you're like, all right, just give me the Cliff Notes of it. 
like there's something what is that all right um or so what are we actually doing at work today and instead of sitting there listening to him explain it the entire time he's like i just give you the cliff notes um apparently mutual of omaha's there now i'm not a conspiracy theorist person but there is a at least a sad and or compelling one i'm going to do with that but i'm not going to push that shit on you guys you there's enough fucking hooker county i don't see any let's see hooker county and the other one because they don't list counties anywhere mcpherson Ugh. unless i like zoom in and maybe happen to see one is this actually a uh, county line i don't know usually they're uh dashed lines all right so we're just going to continue and hopefully find a uh thing like we did last time uh let's see here let's see world's largest train yard union pacific's bail yard which is in north pallet or platt where is north platt we're going to look at that real quick on the side here okay north platt we're going to zoom out a bit North Platte, right there, the largest train yard, which is this right here. Crazy. Um, vice grips were invented here. Um, they were manufactured here until, like with a lot of stuff, closed up and moved to China. Kawasaki Motors, apparently it's the only Kawasaki plant in the world produced the jet ski. And the ATV and meal product lines. Weird. Spade Ranch, which is Nebraska's oldest and largest cattle beef operations. And Nebraska is the only state in the U.S. where all electric utilities are publicly owned. Very interesting things. Another thing that I was scrolling down here, uh, if you're wondering real quick off the top of your head, like political leanings, at least for the state, it's a pretty... Uh, solidly Republican state. Uh, Republicans have carried the state in all but one presidential election since 1940. Uh, let's see. They seem to, uh, despite current Republican domination of Nebraska politics, the state has a long tradition of electing centrist members of both parties to the state and federal offices. So that's a quick little thing. There is a tree map of popular votes, and it is extremely red, which. Uh, that's the way they lean. Oh, shit, I'm running out of time here. I got five seconds. Fuck me. Over here. Actually, I'm going to say we're here. No, that's where we were last time. I ran out of time. It doesn't matter. I was not going to find that at all. Um, looking at, um, what was it, professional sports, there are none from the like the top three that you're aware of. Top three, I'm meaning like uh, baseball, basketball, football. None of those exist here in Nebraska. They have a pretty popular, well, at least it was in the mid-90s, the uh, Nebraska Cornhuskers. Nebraska University was a pretty um, prominent football team, college football team. Maybe not so much now. Uh, I do see a sign over here, although I think that's just saying, yeah, Burris. We're on a highway. Is Burris going to show up when I zoom in here? Not seeing it. All right, we're going to continue looking. But looking at um, the ones they do list, oh, we are Geneva, home of Olympian Maggie Malone. Okay. Geneva. Are you going to show up anywhere here? No, I don't see it. All right, we're going to... Was that an exit? That is not an exit. But if you ever want to go into like an interesting... in the Interesting in the sense of just really weird. Um, look at like semi-professional sports leagues. Like there's one called the Women's Football Alliance. And apparently there's... 
It started in 2009, and there's like 50 teams. I mean, granted, there's different divisions, but um, it's crazy seeing how some... Maybe actually going down here, it'll say what route we're on. Oh, God, no, we're not doing that again. Get me out of here. Thank you. Uh, but you want to look at the crazy, spastic world of semi-professional sports teams and how quickly things like coalesce and just fall apart sometimes within like a couple of games of each other like you can have one team be dominant for five years and then two games into a season the game the the team doesn't exist anymore or uh, they move to a different football league or half the team quits um it's interesting. At least that stuff is to me. Because you're like, oh, there's this whole other world of sports. Youth rehab. <clears throat> Excuse me, what happened to my throat there? I need a highway sign, please. You guys are just giving me, like, towns and streets, but this is a highway. Give me highway markings. Anything. Why does this state not believe in them? Like, this sign here will just say, oh, we're next to, like, School Town Road. And our street. Where are we? I got 42 seconds left. I don't know where Geneva is. I want to say this is Highway Interstate 80, but... Let's just look real quick. I got 30 seconds. We're leaving it on this. I'm sure it's not this, but fuck. What am I supposed to do? Ten seconds. Um, I don't know. We'll click up here. Because why not? My score's terrible as it is. And... It was apparently very obvious. I just did not see it with my eyes. We were on highway. Inter it's not even a highway. It's just a route. Man, what an awful score. This state is very boring geographically. But that's going to do it for uh, Monday's round of geoguessing. I'd like to thank you all for watching. If you have any comments, questions, concerns, complaints, observations, facts, Anything else you have maybe about the state yourself or anything that I've said in this uh, episode, go ahead and put it in the comments below. Along with your like, favorite, comment, subscribe, you know, all that stuff. Monday's done. I'm going to go, as I'm recording this, enjoy the rest of my Sunday. And when you hear this, go enjoy the rest of your Monday. And come back again on Wednesday when we touch base and do some more uh, geography guessing with your old pal here. So until then. Be smart and safe. See you soon.